Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're working on my F15 X5 that I just got. It's the first project I'm actually gonna be doing on this car. One of the first things I noticed when I was test driving this is the climate control buttons were absolutely trashed. I don't know what the story is with this. Seems like there's some type of chemical reaction. Something's happened to that for sure. So that looks pretty hideous. It was one of the main eyesores on this car. Otherwise the car is very clean. So I picked up I used a climate control module online. It was $90 actually, and uh, it's in really good condition, nearly mint. I'm gonna swap it out. I don't know if coding is gonna be involved. I'm not yet set up with the appropriate software and whatnot to code this car yet. I'll get there, but for now I wanna remove this piece. This car has the ceramic option where you get the smoked chrome around the control knobs and whatnot pretty hard to find that so I have to take these rings and buttons and move them over to this existing climate control module here I'm not entirely sure how helpful this will be for people I figured you guys would just be interested in seeing me do some work on my car and you know may help the oddball guy but at the same time this could still be helpful to some people if they have an x5 and they want to just replace this whole piece with a used piece so I'm gonna get this actual trim removed here so we'll set this aside for now. First order of business is gonna to be to remove this piece here. All right, we got a plastic trim removal tool here, placing it right here. Kind of like the E90 actually. So we have a couple connections here. All right, we set that aside now. Now there's a couple T20 torques here. Now we'll try prying. So let's watch out for this piece here. This trim piece here. It kind of clicks in itself. So you just probably want to try to get that released if possible with your trim tool. So we have your usual rocker style switches here. And there we have it. We have this piece out of the car. We'll go try to get things swapped over. All right, so I've taken apart the original piece just to see how things are gonna go back together. I only had to do that because I have these smoked chrome buttons and these are just standard silver. They call that the ceramic package. I'm gonna actually move over my circuit boards just so that it all just uh, works after. I don't have to worry about any been locked issues or uh, encoding just because I'm not set up to do that yet on this chassis but just in case you guys are ever in this position um, some of these buttons will just pop off eventually they'll probably sell these as replacements but I'll show you guys the process it could be an entertaining video these are T7 torques a bunch of springs here that go on the buttons. This piece lifts out. And I gotta take this piece off.
All right, I noticed a difference in the length of these knobs here. The silver one is longer. That means that the length of the knob part behind it is different. So I'm gonna pop this out. And we'll see, as you can see, it's a bit shorter. This one fits properly. Another difference is the actual, this came from the UK. So if you look here, this button's different. In America it has AM, FM. So I'm just gonna pop that button in there just to make it consistent. There we go. That's ready. All right, there's a the finished product. Uh, I'm gonna put it back in the car now. All right, so here's the end result. I installed it back on the car. Looking really nice now. Put some interior lighting on. Nice and fresh. No issues at all now. It's all working. No coating or anything since I used my original circuit boards, etc. But. Now I got the look I wanted here. I got the smoked chrome rings and everything retrofitted to this. And uh, I would put money on the fact that this was that was probably a major deterrent from people buying this car used. It just looked like crap on the interior just because that was a huge eyesore. Now that we've uh, got this fixed, it cost me $90 and the car is looking good. So that's my first DIY on the F15. Hopefully you guys found this video entertaining. I'm not so sure how how helpful this will be to people, but hey, if you have this situation where you gotta take this apart, you don't wanna necessarily code it to your car and you just wanna part one out, this video shows you that. Um, yeah, I look forward to more content on this car. I'm definitely enjoying the process of restoring it. Uh, didn't really need a whole lot. The rest of the interior is looking pretty good and fresh. That was the only eyesore really. So, thanks for watching and we'll get into some more content on this car. Consider subscribing, thanks. Oh, my God.
Oh, 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 oh,